what do you think of the telltale signs that a document is just a sort of tick box exercise, have to pass it on because you think you ought to know about it, want to include it just so you can't tell us that you never saw it, rather than actually a useful tool to communicate useful information that will then be used. You see, it seems to me that simple language is a really good sign that you want people to read and understand it kind of the basic hurdle that you need to overcome. But there's far more depth to actually creating documents that people can read, understand and use than just changing the language. Information architecture, as Stefania Placera calls it, is how we structure it, the order view of the information, and then how we represent that on the page. So in my survey for digital first contracting, we're looking at what some of those signs could be. And when I've worked with Stefania Placera on a uh, and energy companies' um, documents. We've been looking at icons, flowcharts, timelines, tables, all sorts of ways of presenting the information that makes it both rich and avoids redundancy. So that it flows, it, it's easy to follow. You can translate what's on that document into actual tasks and actions and responsibilities. So that we know precisely who is doing what and by when. Now, this document would be first created in Italian, so this could have been a translation error. But it was really clear to us that actually this document didn't allow the parties to really know what they were meant to achieve. And that's really not a good sign. So translating something so that you can use it, so it draws people in, so it's a efficient tool for communicating tasks and timelines and deadlines is more than just simplifying the language. It's about making it a fully collaborative document that anyone, whatever their language, whatever their sector, whatever their job role, can actually pick up and run with without needing training. So that's what we do when we try and create simple contracts that actually help you to do business, that enhance trust, safeguard your interests and without annoying your clients. If that sounds like something you're interested in, give me a ring or go to 500words.co.uk because I think your contracts, like all documents, should be safeguarding your business without annoying your clients and should be easy to read, understand and use.